Good evening, I'm Paula Akana. Thanks for joining us, I'm Laura Yamada. An East Honolulu school community is in shock tonight following the brutal stabbing of a student at Kalani High. KITV4's Catherine Cruz joins us with new details about the students involved. Catherine? Well, the violence comes just as the school year was coming to a close. Students say this is finals week, but their focus today was on which of their schoolmates were involved and why. The identities of the two teens spread quickly on the school campus. I just see them around campus, you know, having fun. Classmates say Dylan Wong and Zoe Espinola were on the swim team together. They even won first place in a medley relay. But everyone is asking what went wrong. Some say girl troubles may have triggered the violent outburst in the morning math class. In these waning days of school, the yearbook has taken on a different light as the students pour over the pages. Police say Dylan Wong was taken to the hospital, suffering from multiple stab wounds to his torso. Friends who went to the school say the two boys were well-liked. Wong was on the football team and was part of the homecoming court. Espinola's MySpace page shows him flashing a shaka. But everything was not right this morning. Police recovered a large knife used in the attack in E-Building, classroom E-17, on the ground floor. The school principal called the stabbing an isolated case of violence and planned to send letters to the parents and post information on the school website. At this point, it's very surprising that something like this could happen here at Kalani High School. Um, but I'm glad we had an um, excellent um, faculty and staff to be able to know what to do in these situations. One web reader responded to the day's events like this. A child from Kalani High School decided in a split second today to alter the path of his life and another person's as well. He adds, my God, let's really think about what we do in the split seconds of our lives. Students say they're relieved that Wong survived the attack. We're all going to pray for him that he'll be okay. But at the same time, they worry for Espinola too. Now, today's incident sparked fears in many Kalani parents. One mom told us it wasn't until she received a text message from her daughter that she was okay, that she herself could relax. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.